when he had his cardiac arrest, it definitely brought us a lot closer. It just sort of, it's a bad situation, but it made him sort of really thankful for me the way I was already really thankful for him. Uh, so before the cardiac arrest, we had just gone to a weekend festival. Uh, we'd literally just driven back and then we came into the back of the alleyway behind our old flat and tried to put things away and then he just went straight down and I just, oh, because he's had heart attacks in the past, I kind of knew that it was something like that. So I just jumped straight into, I need to do something. When it happened, I was quite scared at first. I was a bit panicky. The first thought that came to my mind is, I don't want him to die. He can't die. Came to the realisation that neither of us had our phones on us. We'd left them both in the car and his car keys were in his back pocket. So I had to use his belt loop at the side of his waist to pull him over onto his front and uh, take the keys out of his pocket and run to the car to get my phone. Once I got my phone, I called 999 and they talked me through how to do the CPR. He was struggling to talk at the time when he was still in the hospital, but he did a lot of squeezing my hands and he was crying quite a bit and he wrote, wrote down thank you a few different times. And yeah, it was it was nice to see that he was thankful for it, but I was just glad he was alive. Well, the weekend I had the cardiac arrest, no indication that anything was going to happen. It was a great weekend. And uh, Judy tells well, I said to her on the way home, one of the best weekends of my life. After I came round in hospital, oh, two weeks in a coma and a week coming out of it, off the drugs or whatever, and to find out what happened was was quite bizarre, because I obviously didn't remember any of it. And to find out what Judy had done for me, give me CPR till the ambulance turned up. And I was like, why the hell am I still here? I mean, I, I found out how, what, what Judy had done for me. Um, from visitors and the nurses, Jenny didn't say a thing to start with, she just kept it quiet. So when I found out that she'd saved my life, um, I, didn't, I don't know what to think, I was like, obviously very, very grateful to her. Um, you know, I, just, I can't even remember how I felt really, it was just shock really, I think, it's like, really? She did that? Well, I, was kind of, I must have thanked Jenny more than once, I'm not sure, no. she knows how very grateful I am to her. But I, I didn't think it was enough. And when I heard about that, uh, it was our foundation award. So I thought, well, I'm going to put a forward for it. I know it happened a few years ago, and this only came out not in this year's awards, but it's a bit of a acknowledgement and a bit more recognition of what she did, which was pretty amazing stuff, really. She was 16 at the top. And I was just like to say to Ginny that I'm so grateful for what she did. Uh, I was so thinking he was not enough. <laughs>